Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to State Farm Arena here in Hidalgo, Texas. As we get set for the official weigh-ins, fighters on the scales just moments from now, we welcome you as Miller Lite presents Bellator MMA. For those joining us on the live stream, we welcome you as well. Bellator, finally, back in the great state of Texas. Again, fighters in just a couple of moments. A couple of reminders for tomorrow here at State Farm Arena. Doors will open at 5 o'clock. First fights inside the Bellator cage at 5.30 p.m. That's local time. The prelims, as always, will be seen live on Spike.com if you can't make it here live. And then 9 o'clock Eastern time, just like every Friday night, a part of Friday Night Lights Out live on Spike. 9 o'clock Eastern time, 8 o'clock local time. The main card will go live on Spike, again presented by Miller Lite. Tickets still available right over here at the State Farm Arena box office, or if you can't make it here live, Ticketmaster.com has all the details. Tomorrow night's action will kick off with two aggressive stand-up heavyweights. That'll kick off the live TV bout. And then two California-based middleweights, all-action fighters, Kendall Grove, Joey Beltran, will step inside the Bellator cage against each other this time. The main event, bantamweights, L.C. Davis coming off one of the best fights we've ever seen here at Bellator, takes on the two-time former Bellator champion, the baddest man on the planet, Mr. Joe Warren. Uh, it's all happening tomorrow on the fight card. Overseeing the weigh-ins today and the action tomorrow, the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation and the Executive Director is William Kuhn, supervising today, Mr. Greg Alvarez. Thank you, sir. And with that, my name is Mike Williams. Behind me, the lovely ladies from Bellator MMA. Summer on my right, on my left, Mercedes. And now, to bring the fighters to the scale, if you please put your hands together and welcome one half of the broadcast team for Spike, this is analyst Mr. Jimmy Smith. Thank you so much. Let's get it started with our preliminary fights. Fights, Check them out on Spike.com. We start off in the lightweight division, 155 pounds. Gilbert Jimenez versus Luke Flores, first to the scale, fighting out of San Antonio, Texas. Please welcome Gilbert Jimenez. Huh? Yeah, it's some, no, flies. Two hours to cut. One fifty five on the dot for Gilbert Jimenez. And his opponent fighting out of Mission, Texas. Please welcome Luke Flores. Undefeated at three and oh, all of his wins by submission. He stands six foot. Has an awesome t shirt. Got him coordinate that. We can't wear the same shirt as me, bro. You know? It's so awkward. It's so awkward. Oh. 155 and a half for Luke Flores. It's like you guys. They'll be kicking it off for us. Give it up for him. Gilbert Jimenez versus Luke Flores, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next up, also in the lightweight division, 155 pounds, Jared Chafee versus Guillermo Costa. First to the scale. Fighting out of Magnolia, Texas, please welcome Jared Chafee. A record of four and one, one win by knockout, one by submission. Five. 
155 on the dot for Jared Chafee. And his opponent from far Texas, please welcome Guillermo Costa. Undefeated at 5 and 0, oh, one knockout, three submissions. He stands 5 foot 10. And a 156 and a quarter. One quarter to drop. We're going to try it with the tarp. This what? Isn't it? One fifty six, even for Guillermo Costa. You're good. One time I'm going to tell you to clear Two up and coming lightweights, Jared Chafee versus Guillermo Costa. Give it up for him. Another showcase fight in the lightweight division, 155 pounds. Nick Gonzalez versus Ryan Couture. First in the scale, fighting out of Austin, Texas. Please welcome Nick Gonzalez. Record of 18 and 12, six knockouts, three submissions. One seventy-two and three quarters. One seventy-two and three quarters for Nick Gonzalez. And his opponent fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome Ryan Couture. He sports a record of 10 and 3, one knockout, six submissions. He stands 5 foot 10. One fifty-five and a half for Ryan Couture. Let's give it up for Nick Gonzalez versus Ryan Couture, ladies and gentlemen. Moving down to the featherweight division, 145 pounds. Gerestone Santos versus John Teixeira. First to the scale, fighting all the way from Brazil. Please welcome Gerestone Santos. Very experienced, a record of 27 and four, nine knockouts, six submissions. One forty six on the Dr. Gladstone Santos. <laughs> and his opponent, also from Brazil, please welcome John Teixeira. An outstanding record of 18, one and two, four knockouts, 10 submissions.
146 for John Teixeira. The featherweight battle of Brazil, Glenistone Santos versus John Teixeira. We appreciate your enthusiasm, ladies. That was awesome. Moving up to the heavyweight division, 265 pounds, Dan Charles versus Chase Gormley. First to the scale, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. Please welcome Dan Charles. A record of nine and three, five knockouts, two submissions. Turned 30 years old today. Two and a half for Dan Charles. And his opponent fighting out of Lakewood, California. Please welcome Chase Gormley. A record of 12 and 4, four knockouts, two submissions. He stands six foot three. 263. 263 for Chase Gormley. Two big boys, let's give it up for him. Dan Charles versus Chase Gormley, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Moving down the scale to the bantamweight division, 135 pounds, a battle between two contenders, Sean Bunch versus Darian Caldwell. First of the scale, fighting out of San Jose, California. Please welcome Sean Bunch. Record of four and one, one win by knockout. One thirty-five and a half for Sean Bunch. And his opponent fighting out of Redlands, California. Please welcome Darian Caldwell. <laughs> Undefeated at 7 and 0, oh, one win by knockout, two by submission. What about the half? 135 and a half for Darian Caldwell. Don't miss this one, two very explosive bantamweights, Sean Bunch versus Darian Caldwell. Next up, also in the bantamweight division, 135 pounds, Eduardo Bustillos versus Steve Garcia. First is scale, fighting out of Saltillo, Mexico. Please welcome Eduardo Bustillos. <laughs> Record of four and one, all of his wins finishes, one knockout, three submissions. Sure. 
136 on the dot for Eduardo Bustillos. And his opponent fighting out of Rio Rancho, New Mexico, please welcome Steve Garcia. Undefeated at 5-0, four wins by knockout. He stands six foot. One thirty-five and a half for Steve Garcia. Another fight between contenders at 135, Eduardo Bustillos versus Steve Garcia. Next up, another fight in the bantamweight division, 135 pounds, Amador Ramirez versus Saul Elizondo. First to the scale, fighting out of Velasco, Texas. Please welcome Amador Ramirez. Record of four and four, one win by knockout, two by submission. One thirty-four and three quarters for Amador Ramirez. And his opponent fighting out of Raleigh, Texas. Please welcome Saul Elizondo. Record of six and five, four wins by submission. One thirty-five on the dot for Saul Elizondo. Let's give it up for the bantamweights Amador Ramirez versus Saul Elizondo. And for our final preliminary fight of the evening at 170 pounds, the welterweights, Abdul Razak versus Bryce Shepard Mahia. First to the scale, fighting out of Arlington, Texas. Please welcome Abdul Razak. Undefeated at 3-0, all of his wins by knockout. One seventy and a half for Abdul Razak. And his opponent fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Bryce Shepard Mejia. Also undefeated at 3-0. Also, all of his wins finishes. One by knockout, two by submission. One seventy-one for Bryce Shepard Mahia. Two undefeated welterweights. Two guys who have never gone the distance. Abdul Abdul Rasak versus Bryce Shepard Mahia. Now on to the televised portion of our show, of course, on Spike. We start out in the heavyweight division, 265 pounds. Everton Teixeira versus Venetia Spartan, first to the scale, all the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Please welcome Everton Teixeira. <laughs> Undefeated at 3-0-1 win by knockout. He stands six foot two.
36 on the dot for Everton Teixeira. Everton right here, buddy. Everton, you talked about Kyokushin making you tough. You don't ever back up. You don't ever give up. You keep throwing. What does that mean for the fans who get to watch your fight tomorrow night? Uh, it means uh, you can watch uh, tomorrow a uh, very exciting fight. Over here. And his opponent from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, please welcome Vinicius Spartan. A record of seven and three, six knockouts, one submission. He stands six foot seven. on the dot for Vinicius Spartan. Right, Vinicius, the last time we saw you in the Bellator cage, a knockdown, a knockout, face down against LeVar Johnson. Are you addicted to that feeling? Is that what we're going to see tomorrow night? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I love to fight in Bellator. I'm very happy to be back. I'm recovering by about some injuries, and I'm very excited to fight this guy. I respect him so much, and going to be a big fight. Two massive heavyweights who love to strike. Everton Teixeira versus Vinicius Spartan. Give it up for him. Face that way. Moving down the scale to the featherweight division, 145 pounds. Two up-and-comers, Henry Corrales versus Emmanuel Sanchez. First is scale, fighting out of La Mirada, California. Please welcome Henry Corrales. An outstanding record, 12 and one, four knockouts, six submissions. One forty-five and a half for Henry Corrales. Henry, great fighters are at their best when they're challenged. Across from you tomorrow night, another young, hungry, up-and-coming fighter. What's that going to bring out of you? I'm excited. I put in all the work. I'm ready to go in there and fucking perform. And his opponent, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please welcome Emmanuel Sanchez. A record of 10 and 2 as a pro, one knockout, five submissions. Yeah. 146 on the dot for Emmanuel Sanchez. Emmanuel, your last fight against the former champ, Pat Curran, you said, I fought too much like it was a sparring session. I didn't push it enough. I didn't go hard enough. How are you changing that strategy tomorrow night? Estoy listo para dejar todo en la raya mañana para toda la gente mexicana. Orgulloso de estar en Estados Unidos y también orgulloso de ser un mexicano. Orgullo mexicano. Let's give it up for the featherweights, Henry Corrales versus Emmanuel Sanchez. Next up in the middleweight division, 185 pounds, Kendall Grove versus Joey Beltran. First to the scale, fighting out of Maui, Hawaii. Please welcome Kendall Grove. A veteran with a record of 21 and 15, five knockouts, 10 submissions. He stands six foot six. One eighty-five and a half for Kendall Grove. <laughs> Kendall, you fought the best of the best. You know Joey Beltran well. You never have to find him. He's always right in front of you. What does that mean for the fans tomorrow night? First of all, como esta, Hidalgo? <laughs> nah, um, 
Joy brings it, I bring it. There's going to be a good show for you guys. As opponent fighting out of Carlsbad, California, please welcome Joey Beltran. A record of 16 and 11, 11 knockouts, two submissions. He stands six foot one. One eighty-six on the dot for Joey Beltran. You heard what Kendall Grove had to say. It's gonna be an all-action fight. Is that how you see it going down tomorrow night? Yeah, man. It's fucking. Uh, it's gonna be a good show. So, put on a good show for all the Texas people. Let's do this. I'm they want to get it on the middleweights, 185 pounds. Kendall Grove versus Joey Beltran. Don't miss it. And our main event of the evening, the bantamweights, 135 pounds, L.C. Davis versus Joe Warren, first in scale, fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri. Please welcome L.C. Davis. A record of 23 and 6, 8 knockouts, 7 submissions. One thirty-five and three quarters for L. C. Davis. L. C. The last time I saw you fight, one of the greatest fights I've ever had the honor of calling. A very emotional fight for you this time. You're taking on a very emotional opponent in Joe Warren, a guy who always brings it. What's your mentality heading into tomorrow night? Uh, I'm ready to go, man. First, I want to say happy birthday to my son. Uh, what's up, RGV? We in the building. Um, as for Ho Warren, uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to lay this clown down. Tune in. And his opponent fighting out of Monument, Colorado. Please welcome the former Bellator bantamweight champion, Joe Warren. One thirty-five and three quarters for Joe Warren. Joe, you heard what he had to say. He's going to lay you down. Not the first guy to say that. What's your response? Yeah, a lot of people like to talk, but I walk the walk. So this fist is coming for some pain tomorrow. So I can't wait to see all you guys in that stand screaming when I knock out LC tomorrow. You've heard it. Both guys promise a knockout. Our main event, LC Davis versus Joe Warren. They back up the talk tomorrow night. <laughs> You fans have been outstanding. We'll see you at the fight tomorrow night. Thank you so much. Jimmy Smith, thank you very much. Hey, Twilight joined us here for the weigh-ins. We thank you again. Tickets right over here at the box office or Ticketmaster.com. A huge thanks. One of our local partners helping us out. South Texas Fighting Championships. Again, our local promoter. A lot of great help. Again, thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Doors open tomorrow, 5 o'clock. First fight at 5.30. Light broadcast, 8 o'clock. Local time, 9 o'clock Eastern time. We'll see you tomorrow night as Miller Light presents Bellator MMA.